Hi there. A few days back, a subscriber asked how to submit a number of bets on the one selection, with each bet being separated by a certain number of ticks. I've got this uh, demo strategy set up for you, but let's have a look at it in action first before we go into the detail. It's probably easier to see if we switch to the ladder mode. Uh, what this does is it's going to put in 10 bets on the draw, separated by 5 ticks. Uh, and starting five ticks below the uh, current market price. So we just assign the strategy. There's the bets going in. One after other, you can see the bet counter just uh, incrementing up to nine there. And that's it, all bets put in. There they are, all waiting to be matched. So we see a very simple process, let's have a look at the detail. The thing that's actually doing the work is the second rule here. And it relies primarily on two things. It relies first of all on the unmatched lay bets odds for setting up the bet odds. We've got that set to the min odds. Uh, and minus five ticks. So what it's doing there is each bet that goes in is going to be less than the one before so that when this rule fires again as it goes through its iterations it checks to see what the minimum odds on that selection was. It finds that it's five ticks less than the previous one so it then puts in another bet five ticks less than the one that's just been entered. It also has to rely on uh, this condition here, the number of lay bets that are unmatched must be equal to or greater than 1. The reason for that is if you don't have that condition in, that rule will fail because there's nothing in the unmatched bets panel. There's no unmatched bets for it to base its iterations on. So that has to be in there. And secondly, it also relies on this rule here, which puts in the initial bet. So you need to have an initial bet going in there before that rule will kick in. Now that's interesting because although I've set that initial bet placement within the strategy, you don't need it there. Let me just uh, cancel that out and we'll disable that particular rule and save it. Okay, so you can see it's um, saved there now. We'll reset that, we'll go back in and we'll cancel all those bets. If I now reassign it again, this thing here isn't doing anything. You'll see how that bet counter is still zero. But I can now manually go in. So let's go in significantly less than we were before. Let's go down to four. I can put a bet in there and see how immediately those bets all start going in based on that seed bet. So you've got two options effectively. You either put the initial seed bet as part of the strategy or you can assign the strategy and then manually select your entry point. But that's essentially it, a very simple rule that will allow you to put in multiple bets on a runner at any one particular point in time. The only thing that I would flag up to you is that you may need to adjust the wait time for the repeating execution count. So you'll see I've got this set to execution count of 9, keeping in mind that there's another bet that goes in to kickstart the process. So there's a total of 10 bets going in. I'm doing this pre-kickoff on a football match, uh, but if you're doing it in play, you may have to adjust the wait time uh, to take into account the in-play delay. Uh, that's just in case there's any conflict between those timings. Uh, that's something you would need to play with. Okay guys, that's essentially it. Hope you found that useful. I'll speak to you later.